This is Mike Dean, and you're watching Mike's Fish Room. Today we're going to do a video on hatching eggs. We're going to show you guys what we do on a day-to-day -day basis to increase the hatch rate that we have with our eggs. Our zebra pair just spawned. It's been 12 hours and we're going to go ahead and pull their slate. Now what we're going to place this slate into is a one gallon glass jar. We're also going to use chlorinated water for the first three days. This will keep the fungus down as well as hydrogen peroxide with that chlorine for the first three days. We're going to start on the first day at 10 drops per gallon on hydrogen peroxide. And here we go. Now, as long as you're not going a far distance with the eggs, they can be out of water for a few seconds. As long as they don't dehydrate and dry up, they'll be fine. You got a much better view of how many eggs we've got here. If I were to guess, anywhere from probably four to 600 eggs. We're gonna get that slate right inside that jar. And then we're gonna walk this jar over to our 10 gallon tank set up just for hatching. The reason we set these in a 10 gallon tank is so we can regulate the outside temperature to regulate the inside temperature. Also, it allows me to have a secondary water source for the slate to sit in, makes it easier for water changes, keeps it from getting polluted. The cleaner the water for eggs, the better the hatch rate. Now remember, especially if you're artificially hatching your own eggs, aerate the water. Get an air stone in there, get some circulation, get some aeration going on. If you don't have circulation and oxygenation, the eggs will absolutely rot. Now stay tuned because we're either going to do a four or five part series. So tomorrow we'll have another video uploaded just on the process of day two and what we do for day two. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, click that button.